Welcome to Healthcare Sucks. And we're going to jump right into it. If you watched the last video, you'll see a little of this. I wanted to lead in with this because some people don't watch the whole video. I thought it was really important that they start off with this. Here we go. Vaccination as a number of coronavirus cases soars above 3,000. Tonight, elected officials taking unprecedented measures to keep people safe. Illinois and Ohio closing all bars and restaurants beginning tonight. California shutting down bars and wineries and asking those 65 and older to self-isolate. We recognize around the rest of the world that we need to meet this moment head on. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio closing all New York City public schools, affecting more than 1 million students starting tomorrow. There is a real possibility that by closing our schools now, we may not have the opportunity to reopen them, reopen them in this full school year. Puerto Rico declaring a curfew and closing all non-essential businesses. And more than 40,000 residents in Teaneck, New Jersey, ordered to self-quarantine. During this public health crisis, major retailers are also going dark. Bars and restaurants could be next in New York City. Every option is on the table. This is a crisis that will be with us, first of all, I believe at least six months. Meantime, confusion leading to chaos at U.S. airports under the administration's European travel ban. Lines stretching for hours in New York, Dallas and Chicago's O'Hare. Beth Kander described her 30-hour travel nightmare. It felt like being in some sort of dystopian novel because we didn't know if we were going to be quarantined or if the nine hours that we've been in the air, things had become so bad on the ground in the States that they didn't want us to get off the plane for those safety reasons. They should have increased the Customs and Border Patrol uh, numbers and they should have increased the number of CDC personnel on the ground doing those checks. They did neither of those. Kathy joins me now from JFK Airport. Kathy, the acting head of Homeland Security, just said the wait time is now an average of 30 minutes from the White House. What are you hearing? Well, Kate, we just spoke with several people on the ground here. And because of the extra screening process that is in place here at JFK, the wait time is still a minimum of two hours. Kate? All right, Kathy Park, thank you. NBC medical correspondent Dr. John Torres is with us for the full half hour here, answering crucial questions, also from our viewers, things that ask, people ask us on social media. Let's start with Illinois, Ohio, closing down bars and restaurants, California closing wineries and bars. The White House administration officials just said they'll give us more guidance nationally tomorrow about what to do. Could we be looking at more closures or, you know, a, a mandate that all bars and restaurants close nationwide? And in that same briefing, Dr. Fauci said everything's on the table. That includes shutting down things nationwide if the numbers start accelerating. So hopefully they're starting to make the movements to get it under control and flatten that curve. If not, you're going to see more shutdowns. He said even domestic travel even is domestic under travel. consideration. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching. Your skin can actually soak up wetness, her diaper doesn't. That's why I use Pampers. Pampers traps and locks wetness away, keeping baby skin drier and healthier. The health of your baby's skin starts with the Pampers they're in. school district in America, New York City, now shutting down. The states of California, Ohio, and Illinois announcing they're closing down all bars in an attempt to slow the coronavirus's spread. How long this order will be in effect, uh, we don't frankly know. As the number of cases in the U.S. hits a new milestone, hospitals across the country now pushed to the brink, some already running low on supplies. Chaos at the airport's gridlock as American passengers arrived from Europe and underwent extra screening procedures jammed into crowded spaces for hours. Where are the tests? The White House late today announcing a plan to begin drive-through or walk-through testing in certain hard-hit areas, but not all states yet. And the dramatic move just taken to boost the economy. And keeping the faith, the churches are empty, but the messages beamed out from Sunday services across the country are still full of hope. 
This is NBC Nightly News with Kate Snow. Here we go. Good evening on another day filled with head spinning updates on the coronavirus. The White House late today is laying out plans to increase testing, though not yet nationwide. Ohio and Illinois shutting down restaurants and bars today. California closing bars and wineries and asking older residents to stay inside. New York's governor asking for help opening more hospital facilities just in case as the largest public school district in the nation in New York City shuts its doors. We have many reports tonight along with perspective from our Dr. John Torres in the studio with me throughout the entire broadcast tonight. Let's begin though with Kathy Park with the very latest. Heightened states of emergency across the nation as a number of coronavirus cases soars above 3,000. Tonight, elected officials taking unprecedented measures to keep people safe. Illinois and Ohio closing all bars and restaurants beginning tonight. California shutting down bars and wineries and asking those 65 and older to self-isolate. We recognize around the rest of the world that we need to meet this moment head on. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio closing all New York City public schools, affecting more than 1 million students starting tomorrow. There is a real possibility that by closing our schools now, we may not have the opportunity to reopen them, reopen them in this full school year. Puerto Rico declaring a curfew and closing all non-essential businesses. And more than 40,000 residents in Teaneck, New Jersey, ordered to self-quarantine. During this public health crisis, major retailers are also going dark. Bars and restaurants could be next in New York City. Every option is on the table. This is a crisis that will be with us, first of all, I believe at least six months. Meantime, confusion leading to chaos at U.S. airports under the administration's European travel ban. Lines stretching for hours in New York, Dallas, and Chicago's O'Hare. Beth Kander described her 30-hour travel nightmare. It felt like being in some sort of dystopian novel because we didn't know if we were going to be quarantined or if the nine hours that we've been in the air, things had become so bad on the ground in the States that they didn't want us to get off the plane for those safety reasons. They should have increased the Customs and Border Patrol uh, numbers and they should have increased the number of CDC personnel on the ground doing those checks. They did neither of those. Kathy joins me now from JFK Airport. Kathy, the acting head of Homeland Security, just said the wait time is now an average of 30 minutes from the White House. What are you hearing? Well, okay, Kate, we just spoke with several people on the ground here. Because of the extra screening process that is in place here at JFK, the wait time is still a minimum of two hours. Kate. All right, Kathy Park, thank you. NBC medical correspondent Dr. John Torres is with us for the full half hour here, answering crucial questions also from our viewers, things that ask, people ask us on social media. Let's start with Illinois, Ohio, closing down bars and restaurants, California closing wineries and bars. The White House administration officials just said they'll give us more guidance nationally tomorrow about what to do. Could we be looking at more closures or you know, a, a mandate that all bars and restaurants close nationwide? In, in that same briefing, Dr. Fauci said everything's on the table. That includes shutting down things nationwide if the numbers start accelerating. So hopefully they're starting to make the movements to get it under control and flatten that curve. If not, you're going to see more shutdowns. He said even domestic travel even is domestic under travel. consideration. Exactly. All right, stay with us. Thanks so much. The main focus of that White House briefing just now was on testing mm -hmm. for the coronavirus. The administration saying nearly 2 million tests will roll out over this week with more than 2,000 labs now analyzing results, those labs coming online over the next four days. Kelly O'Donnell reports. This working Sunday marks the 11th White House briefing on coronavirus with new details on the availability of testing. We are now in a new phase of testing. We will have 1.9 million of these high throughput tests available this week. With scenes like these around the country showing Americans waiting for coronavirus screening, the Trump administration called on major retailers to provide use of parking lot space to stage drive through testing sites. We're using the full power of the federal government to defeat the coronavirus and we will do whatever it takes and we're doing, I think, really, really well. The worst is yes ahead for us. It is how we respond to that challenge that's going to determine what the ultimate endpoint is going to be. This window that we're in is going to be very important for us to stay ahead of this curve. 
Friday in the Rose Garden, retail CEOs said they are prepared to assist. So we've been asked to make portions of our parking lot available in select locations in the beginning and scaling over time as supply increases. New today, a White House message about your trip to the grocery store where some shelves are bare. There's no need for anybody in the country to hoard essential food supplies. They said to me, could you please tell them just go and buy, enjoy it, have a nice dinner, relax. Kelly's with us now from the White House. Uh, Kelly, there was also a big move today to help boost the economy. A stunning one, really, Kate. The Federal Reserve, the nation's central bank, slashed its benchmark rate by a full point to nearly zero and pledged to buy nearly uh, 700 and 200 billion in treasury and mortgage-backed securities to try to counter the economic peril of coronavirus. That put a big smile on the president's face. He no way. I'm just gonna say no way. This is not a lot. gloom and doom. <laughs> it's the gloom and doom hour with healthcare sucks. Um, do you guys get the feeling something's not right? I do. And I'm not trying to gloom and doom you or paranoid you out. Um, I just don't feel right. And I've had a lot of responses saying the same thing. There's something odd. Really odd. Okay. Bottom line, if they can't treat this, and I talked about this in my last video, if you can't treat it, what's the use of even getting tested? Can't treat it. So I'm personally not going in until I'm so sick I can't the ambulance has to come and get me. Period. If if it ever came to that. And I've kind of made that draw after the uh, medication cuts. Because you go there and they put you through crap. And they, they let you suffer now when you go to the hospital. Screw that. I'm going to be up front. I'm not going there for pain and suffering when I can stay home and suffer. And be just as happy to croak in my own home. I know that's kind of vulgar and straight to the point. But damn it. Sometimes straight to the point is the only way to do it. But um, yeah, I ain't going to no hospital for pain and suffering. No way. Oh yeah, he... He don't need nothing for pain. He's like halfway dead. Let's like let him suffer. No, no, no. And the other thing is a lot of people have hit me up with this swabbing thing. We don't know what's on these swabs going in your mouth. That was what one side is saying. We don't. The other thing is we don't know where our DNA is going to go into some bank eventually. Not happy about that. Um, and who makes the call? And the and by the way, these tests we've already been proven they're fifty to seventy five percent not reliable. Okay, so a lot about the testing. It that this testing things, it's all for show. I'm gonna tell you. Remember the little gun for the temperature thing? Then we find out that you could still have it for uh, be it transferring it and be active for third. 30 days now, I think we're up to that. And they still haven't marked the quarantines for longer than 14. What does that tell you? So you're 14 days in. Do, 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 do. Let them out. And then, bam, you transfer it and you're contagious. You spread it all. And then right before that 30 day mark, you get very ill. All of a sudden, oh my gosh. And how are you going to track that? You know, another thing is. With our wonderful FBI, you know, we've seen them so gloriously doing things over the last three or four years. Uh, with that Peter Strucky with his little smile and uh, the, uh, you know, whether you think it's okay to cheat on your wife and uh, have an affair. That's a crime, by the way. Not just in God's eyes, but that's in the books. You're, that used to be a crime. I guess not. Now the FBI can get away with it. But anyway, with little weasels like that, uh, we know what they're doing. Wasting their time doing nothing and having affairs. Jeez, it's nice we pay for that. Now, what I'm getting to, though, before I got sidetracked, is that uh, they, uh, the FBI and CIA and all NSA and all those people, they know who's coming and going and what's going and who you've been in contact with. And we've got literally rooms full of people anal analyze analysts analyzing stuff every minute 
So to say that they can't go back and, and run the cameras, and we've seen it on movies, guys, and most of that's not even, we have more than that. So this thing that they couldn't track down who was with who and go to their check him out and whatever and da da da, BS. Again, they're really wanting this thing to go around. I, I'm heading towards Agenda 21. Go look it up, guys. I, I can't make this stuff up. Event 201, same scenario, but it's what we're living. And this was just a few months before it hit. Doesn't that tell you something? And then when you really want to dive deep, One World Order. That's coming. And you know with all this going on, this is there's some changes coming, guys. Some big changes coming. And you notice the left and the right, which I'm proud of, kind of tamped it down a little bit. Because I want to tell you straight out, Hollywood's pooping their pants. They're scared. All those troublemakers there. And with Tom Hanks supposedly getting it, you know? And um, the government officials, no matter which side you're on, but they're starting to poop their pants too. Believe me. Because this thing doesn't care how much money you have or don't have. The Wuha monster is out to get it, get us. And uh, with that, I'm going to close this out. You kind of got the idea where we're heading. And not trying to gloom and doom, but maybe gloom and doom is where we're heading. But not for 99, not for Team 99, because you know what? We went and bought toilet paper. I got toilet paper in my house. I got beans and rice at my house. Do you? I I know you do. You? I can see. I can see the beans and rice on your shelf. Is that like a case of toilet paper? I am proud of you, man, back there in the corner. In other words, I know you guys did. Again, it's a battle to get the medicine paid for for three months. I keep pushing. Keep pushing. We And we haven't heard a thing about that. There's a lot of things they're ignoring, guys. And I'm not happy about it. And I've already called. I called the wonderful Kate. Little brain Kate Brown of Oregon. And the reason she's got a little brain. Is because she don't use it. And she cares about others. More than the Oregon people. If you haven't seen that. Then I. You know in Oregon. I can, it, it's going to come out really soon. Believe me. That she don't care. Um, but she with a pen. Could sign. To have things done to help us guys and anyway so i i did leave messages um i called up as healthcare sucks requesting a, an interview and telling her i'm gonna keep broadcasting that she's doing nothing until we find out she does something and this thing declare an emergency just so they can tap into money per state and the other part is maybe they can enact to block your street off to make you stay in your home. What did we see in China? Doors being locked, bolted shut. What are you going to do when you start to step out and a little drone flies by and says, get your butt back in the house or we'll send down a car. What are you going to do when your neighbor decides to defy that and tries to escape and they throw him in the back of a paddy wagon and haul him away to who knows where and six months later, if you make it six months later, you never see him again. And that kind of stuff is what happened in China. I, We've seen it. I covered those kind of things. Healthcare sucks. Just a thought. Over and out.